The Tower of London is possibly the most famous prison in history. Its reputation and legacy as a brutal site of torture and execution was cemented during the Tudor period. The Tower was a site where two of Henry VIII's wives, Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, were executed on Tower Green. Anne Boleyn, the infamous king's second wife, was beheaded by an expert swordsman from France, with Catherine Howard dying with the blade of the commoner's axe inside the heart of the fortress. Another queen, Lady Jane Grey, was also executed within the walls, and many of England's most famous prisoners were brutally tortured inside. Guy Fawkes, for example, found himself strapped to the rack, the infamous torture device that stretched a prisoner, ripping their limbs out of their sockets. There were many more examples of torture and brutal punishment that occurred inside of the tower. However, there was one very small cell which struck fear into the hearts of any person held captive within the imposing castle. Today we look at the Tower of London's oubliette, Little Ease, the small but notorious place where you certainly would not want to end up. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. But now a short message from today's video sponsor, Endall. In the world at the moment, we are constantly absorbing information in different and new ways, and information overload is destroying our psyche. Lack of sleep is one thing that's affecting our health negatively, and two thirds of adults in developed nations do not get the recommended 8 hours of sleep each night. Endel can help you combat this. Endel takes everything we know about sound and combines it with cutting edge technology to produce personalised soundscapes aimed to help you relax, sleep and focus. Endel is created with science and backed by science, and the results are brilliant. Personally I have been using the unique soundscapes to help me settle and have a better sleep, and this has also helped my productivity the next day. They also work with some incredible artists to create soundscapes to improve your productivity, sleep and general well-being. Endel is available on the Apple App Store and also Google Play Store and can be used on a number of devices including a smartwatch, so you can take Endel with you throughout the day and it even works offline. The first 100 people to download Endel using my link in the video description will get a free week of audio experiences. Once again thank you to Endel for sponsoring this video. Somewhere located within the iconic White Tower is the feared prison cell Little Ease. We say this as today it's not certain where Little Ease was found, however it's presumed that it's within the central and oldest part of the Tower of London. It is mostly during the 15th and 16th centuries where the tower became synonymous with brutal punishments, execution and horrendous treatment. As the tower grew over the years, the royal family decided to rarely use it as a royal palace, so it became an impenetrable fortress to house prisoners. Many of the prisoners held inside the walls were religious prisoners who refused to accept the turbulent religious changes of the English Reformation, political dissidents who spoke out against the king or queen, or they were criminals whose actions had been very serious. The Tudor monarchs in particular were often hit with rebellions, conspiracies and plots, and there was a huge element in society of fear for the kings and queens. In particular Elizabeth I faced many plots to her life, with the Barrington plot resulting in the execution of Mary Queen of Scots. She in particular needed a way to punish those offenders and to put people off offending. Deterrence was key for the King and Queens and one way of doing this was to instil fear using horrendous punishments such as a rack, manacles, scavenger's daughter or even Little Ease. What is known about Little Ease, the miniature prison cell, is its size. It had no windows and was basically just a dark cupboard built into the stone walls. It would have been horrendously cold and bitter, there was no heating or anything. A prisoner would be plunged into darkness for days and weeks on end, with nothing inside except their own thoughts, which could be incredibly dangerous. To be imprisoned within Little Ease would have been incredibly serious, and it's likely that those people held there contemplated their fate, and probably presumed that they would be executed for their actions. The size of Little Ease was tiny, measuring four square feet only, and the prisoner was forced to crouch in the same position for days on end. You could not stand up as there was simply not enough space, neither could you lie down. This would have been excruciating, and for the prisoner they would have begged for the end to be brought about very quickly. It's unlikely that prisoners kept in little ease were fed well, and it's assumed that they were either starved or given basic rations, just enough to keep them alive from day to day. It's most possible also that prisoners who had been tortured were then thrown into little ease with their wounds to suffer even more. Imagine a prisoner going from the rack, shoulders and joints dislocated to a tiny room in which the unfortunate soul was forced to crouch for hours and hours. 
their ordeal would be enough to break even the strongest person. It could also be weeks that someone was held inside the cell, in the horrendous conditions inflicting a huge amount of pain and suffering. With this, the reputation of Little Ease quickly spread throughout the Tudor and Stuart England. And with this, it became known as a place that prisoners would be terrified of going. It was reserved for those who had committed the worst and most serious crimes, and for those who needed to be broken. There are a number of accounts in which Little Ease was used, which has been documented throughout history. In 1534, a yeoman warder or beefeater, as they are more commonly known, along with a woman was stopped by the night's watchman, shortly after exiting the Tower of London. It turned out that the man in question was a guard John Board, and the woman he was caught with was Alice Tankerville, a woman who was a convicted thief and was held inside of the tower. In fact, John Board was employed as Tankerville's guard, however he fell in love with her, and together they planned Tankerville's escape from the tower. An elaborate plan was made, and John Board, who was an expert jailer and had first-hand knowledge of the tower, convinced Tankerville to enact their plan. However, they were caught shortly after exiting the tower, and Board brought a huge amount of disgrace onto the yeoman warders. For this, he was treated incredibly harshly by the other beefeaters and jailers, tasked with looking over the prisoners. John Board, for his involvement in planning to break out Alice Tankerville, was subject to the rack. He was placed onto the torture device and then brutally punished with his joints dislocating, with his muscle and bone snapping, but his ordeal was not over. He was then with his wounds thrown into Little Ease, the tiny chamber within the White Tower. Whilst held here, Board could not stand, and he was subject to horrendous agony and brutal mental strain whilst being held there. Its pitch black dark environment would have caused Board to have gone mad with frustration, and it's most probable that he definitely regretted his decision to help Alice Tankerville. It's more than likely that John Board would have liked his life to be over, and it shortly was, as he was thrown in chains over the tower's walls, with him dying from exposure and injuries, with his body being picked at by the ravens. Little ease was enough to break John Board, as he eventually confessed to helping Alice Tankerville out of love and affection he had for her, and the Tate Papers of Lord Lyle wrote how Board was inside Little Ease and how he was to be hanged. Little Ease was also used a number of other times, and it was documented in official tower records. On the 3rd of May 1555, a man called Stephen Haps was held inside the cell for two or three days for his lewd behaviour and obstinacy. He was held there until he was further interrogated and investigated. Later, on the 10th of January 1591, Richard Topcliffe took part in the interrogation of a priest called George Beasley at the tower. Beasley was examined with Robert Humberson, one of his companions, and the record stated, If you shall see good cause by their obstinate refusal to declare the truth of such things as shall be laid to their charge in Her Majesty's behalf, then shall you by authority here commit them to the prison called Little Ease, or to other ordinary places of punishment, as have been accustomed to be used in those cases and to certify proceedings from time to time. With this there was a need to break George Beasley, and it was deemed that Little Ease would be good enough to do this. It's also considered that Guy Fawkes was thrown inside Little Ease. Guy Fawkes was one of the gunpowder conspirators, and famously was caught inside the undercrofts of the Houses of Parliament with the said gunpowder. He defiantly even confronted James I, the man who he planned to be his victim, and for this he was thrown inside the tiny prison. He was clearly a man who was guilty, but the interrogators needed to get a confession from him, and also the names of the other co-conspirators, in order to bring about the trials for those responsible for the gunpowder plot. Fawkes was famously racked, and subject to other ordeals such as using the manacles, where he was suspended for a long period of time in the air. His racking was also so severe that his signature was basically unreadable on his confession. Inside Little Ease, Fawkes was shackled hand and foot, and was kept there for a while. After Fawkes' imprisonment inside, it was reported that the room and prison cell was then disused, and was not used much after. The location of Little Ease today isn't really known. It's believed by many that it's inside the dungeons of the White Tower, which today forms part of a new gift shop. Whilst inside the dungeons, it wasn't possible to spot the possible location of Little Ease, and others believe that it can be found inside the basement of the old Flint Tower. Some others also consider that it was possibly torn down, bricked up, and has been lost to history. However, as it was built within the wall, it possibly remains still inside the masonry of the tower. 
Little Eads has gone down in history as an incredibly brutal and tragic form of torture within one of history's most infamous prisons. The tiny 1.2 metre square cell would have been enough to have broken the most physically and mentally strong people, and coupled with other torture methods, it was horrendous for people who have suffered. It would be incredible if the location of Little Eads could be found, as it would be rather crazy to see what the conditions were like inside of the cell. The suffering inside this lost cell would still today be etched onto the walls. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.